Hey folks, welcome to Apple Tech page. In this video, I am going to show you how to fix YouTube website not loading in Safari on Mac. Solution 1 is, first click Safari and reopen it. To do that, click Apple menu and select first click Safari. Now click on Safari from the first click applications window. Then click first quit to confirm. Once you done this, restart your Mac. Now relaunch the Safari and go to YouTube. Solution 2 is uncheck the socks proxy. Go to Apple menu and select system preferences. Next find and click on network. Now click advanced red button. Here you have to select proxy step under select a protocol to configure and check the SOX proxy. Solution 3 is clear browsing data. Launch Safari on your Mac then click Safari menu at top and select preferences. Now click on privacy tab and click manage website data. Next it will open a window that says loading website data. If you have many data, it may take a few minutes to load. So wait until it loads. Here you can see remove all button at bottom. If you select this, it will erase all browsing data. If you don't want to delete all data, you can delete YouTube data only. To do that, find and select YouTube, then click remove and click done. Solution 4 is Disable all Safari extensions. To do that, click Safari menu and select Preferences. Now click on Extensions tab. Uncheck all boxes beside the extensions and close Safari. Then relaunch the Safari and check. Solution 5 is Restart your Wi-Fi router. Sometimes Safari won't load YouTube website because of slow internet connection. To get rid of this, restart your Wi-Fi router on Mac. Then open YouTube in Safari. Solution 6 is restart your Mac in safe mode. First start or restart your Mac, then immediately press and hold the shift key. Now the Apple logo will appear on your Mac's display. Wait for the login screen to appear. Once the login screen appears, you can release the shift key. Next, select your user account and enter the password. If your startup disk is encrypted with file vault, it will be asking you to log in twice. Solution 7 is using Finder. Open Finder on your Mac, then click Go and click Go to Folder. Then type this. Drag the folder to your desktop. If you don't have installed any extensions, it will say file not found. Then go to next step. Type this. Next locate the db file and drag it to trash. Once you done, this application will create a new set of catchy files when it starts. Do like, share and subscribe to Apple Tech page.